The primary goal of my work is to help patients, to see people who are sick, who are in need of treatment, who have no further standard treatment options, and help them get rid of their disease, rid of their symptoms, and go back to a normal life. But it also stems out of a deep, deep interest in the immune system and the way that the immune system can help the sick person cure the disease from the inside. My name is Martin Hutchings. I'm a senior consultant at the Department of Hematology at Rieshospitalet, where we are in Copenhagen, Denmark. I'm not sure there is such a word as a hemato-oncologist, but in my case, it is an oncologist who happens to specialize in the treatment of hematological cancers. And these are cancers of the blood, leukemia, cancers of the bone marrow, myeloma, and cancers of the lymphatic system, lymphoma. Many of the patients that we receive have no standard options available. Many of them are, first of all, very sick. There are also many of them in a very serious situation, which is for them and for their families, because the chance of cure is quite low. So I'm collaborating with many industry partners, including GenMap, and these are partners which have very, very strong basic science and clinical development of new drugs. Antibody science has been my, my passion for the last uh, 30 years or more. And actually what I always try to do is to basically understand the biology of antibodies and then use insights into the biology of antibodies to build better antibody-based uh, medicines which can treat diseases like cancer and other serious diseases in a much more uh, impactful manner. My name is Katie Lloyd and I'm a senior scientist working here at GEMMAP. I work in the antibody research department, whereby we are looking into new formats of antibodies and how we can turn these into medicines for patients. I've always really enjoyed problem solving and trying to you know, do puzzles and these kind of things, also fascinated by the human body. So for me, it's really about every day trying to solve these really complex biological problems in order to make therapies for cancer patients. From our research into antibody science, we learned that cancer cells are very smart and they are able to hide very easily. Our body produces antibodies, which are proteins that help fight the cancer cells. Antibodies are Y-shaped structures which have two arms with the same function. A bispecific antibody is also Y-shaped, but each of the arms has a different function. One of the arms can bind to the cancer cell, providing an activating signal for the body's protective T-cells. The other arm is binding the T-cell, and this can help it find the cancer cell and fight it. This means a very effective treatment of the cancer because the T cells, which are the elite soldiers of the immune system, are very, very effective and very aggressive. When you look at the immune system, the powers not only of the T cells, but of the uh, human immunology in general are vast. We actually instruct the immune system of the patient to attack the disease. And one of the key advantages of bispecific antibody approaches is that they are combinable. You can actually combine these, uh, these new types of treatments with, with other types of treatment like chemotherapy or other medicines. Most bispecific antibodies and antibodies in general are given intravenously, that means as an infusion into the bloodstream. But many antibodies can also more practically be given subcutaneously. That means under the skin, through a needle, just like a vaccination. So my hope for the future is that actually many types of cancer can be turned into chronic indications, which are conditions people can live with and maintain a very good quality of life. Bringing about a completely new and effective kind of treatment means bringing hope to patients who otherwise would have very slim chances of cure. In the last three, four, five years, we've been able to not only treat patients effectively, but in many cases actually rid the patients completely of the disease. And that is an amazing feeling. <laughs>